So what's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? Um, it was pretty cool out here, so I decided to come out here and wash the car. Uh, I haven't washed it in about a week, a week or so, and it hasn't really rained. Well, hopefully it's not supposed to. I'm really bad about not checking that, but anyway. Um, I did some stuff to the car. Uh, it's just simple stuff, nothing fancy, nothing exciting. Um, I haven't made a video about it, but I figured I will now because I've got other stuff to talk about, but... All I did was I took the badges off the trunk. So for those that aren't aren't sure or what, aren't aware of what's going on or what's gone, um, on the driver's side, which is right here, that had the word Lincoln right here. And then on this side, it had the MKS badge and then the all-wheel drive badge underneath it. Um, all I did was I heated them up with a little Wagner heat gun that I've had and just pulled them off. The individual letters uh, for the Lincoln emblem, they all the double-sided tape did not come off. Actually, none of the double-sided tape came off with the letters. It all stuck to the car. Um, the MKS and the all-wheel drive logo, on the other hand, 75% um, of it came off with the logos, which is good. So I didn't have to really use a whole lot to get that off on that side. Um, so I just used that, pulled them off with a pair of pliers because I don't have any fishing line or anything like that that a lot of people use. Um, I just made sure not to touch the paint when I did it. Um, I just popped them off, threw them away. And then I used an erase, a rubber eraser wheel, which I'm sure at this point, everybody has to know what those are. And if not, you can just Google decal eraser wheel or sticker eraser wheel. They'll come up. Um, I've had mine for quite a while. I've used them on multiple vehicles. Um, and then I just got some uh, polish and compound uh, from uh, Meguiar's that I've had. And then I pretty much just buffed it with a Griot's Garage uh, buffer that I have or polisher that I have. It's a six inch. I got from AutoZone, I think last year or the year before. So, other than that, that's what we have now. Nice and smooth. Uh, you can you can kind of see where the line is. So, I guess I'll have to go back and do it one more time. But it's nice and smooth. And then I also polished the top of the trunk just to see, you know, what it would feel like. It's still smooth. It's still got some imperfections on it I can feel. But other than that, it's a lot better than it was. Um, but, yeah. Other than that, uh, there's not really anything else that I think I've done to it. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, um, another thing is I do want to say that there is going to be another car that I want to put on the channel. Um, I'm going to try to start reviewing cars as much as I can. Um, so, the next car that I'll be showing will not be mine. Um, it'll show up here and there. Um, it's a friend of mine slash co-worker's car. Um just as a little backstory for him, he's never owned anything like this before, so this is new to him. Um, he's never owned anything sporty. Um, he's always owned cars like mine uh, and stuff like that. Nothing really exciting. He's always he's owned like a Honda Accord or a Honda Civic. Uh, he owned a Grand Am or a Grand Prix. He had a Corolla. He, his last car was a 2020 Toyota Camry that he bought new, and he's had it ever since. Um, but here last weekend, he bought another car. He traded in. He's always wanted a Charger. So, he's got a 2019 Dodge Charger RT. Um, it's pretty good. It's got a pretty good amount of options on it. Um, it's, uh, as I said, it's an RT. I don't think it's an RT Plus, but I'm not sure. Um, it's an RT. It has Super Track Pack. It's got the Alpine system in it. Sunroof, heated seats, heated steering wheel. I think it's got front and rear parking sensors. I don't, I'm not sure about the front, but I know for a fact it's got the rear. Um, it's got a wing on it. Uh, sounds like it's got some kind of exhaust work done to it. I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, it could have been stock like that. I don't know. But um, it is a nice car. It's got remote start on it and all that jazz. Um, but uh, I'm not going to put his name out there. Uh, I'm probably not going to show his face because he he may not want his face shown. Like, I don't really show my face that much. Uh, I also don't put my real name in it. I don't put my address. Don't show anything like that because that's nobody's business. Um, and I'm sure with privacy, he's going to want people to not see who he is either. So that's fine with me. Um, I did wash his car from yesterday. So I did ask him about that kind of stuff, but he didn't really give me an answer. So I'll have to ask him again. Um, but I will do a video on a car just to show it because it is something new. It's something that I've wanted for a while. Um, and I know a little bit more about the car than he does. He's new to this whole car thing. He likes cars. He just doesn't know how to work on them. He doesn't know what a lot of things are. So he won't be able to explain stuff like I do. So if we do stuff to the car, I'll probably have to help him work on it. And I'll probably make videos about it, do stuff like that. 
Um, he'll probably want to put headers on it. He'll probably want to lower it. He'll probably want to do stuff like that. He'll probably want to make, you know, do performance modifications. He doesn't know about the uh, MDS yet or the uh, multi-displacement system, which is the, you know, turn the six, the eight cylinder to a six cylinder or four cylinder or whatever. He doesn't know about that. So I need to tell him about that. Um, he probably won't do that himself. He'll probably either get me to do it or get somebody else to do it. Um, but yeah. He doesn't, he's not mechanically inclined like that, especially not with cars. He does work on trucks like I do, but as I said, that's not really his wheelhouse. He can't really talk about them like that either. He can say what he likes, but if we start getting into the technical stuff, you know, he just can't really, because he, he don't know what things are, so it's kind of hard for him to talk about it. And it's not that I'm bad-mouthing him or trying to bash him or say that he's stupid. It's just that's, that's the truth. He'll tell you the same thing. He doesn't know a lot about cars like that. He's never been around people like that. He doesn't, you know, his parents aren't like that. So anyway, so you will see it. It is B5 blue. So it, it's a 2019. It's got like 40,000 miles on it. So it is in pretty good shape for what it is. It's had some fuckery done to it um, as far as the wheels and the inside. And I'll show that when it comes and I see it. I, you know, I should have done something with it yesterday, but I was getting hot and he wanted to leave. So that's fine. I let him do his thing because he had to work yesterday. I didn't just like tonight. I have to, I don't have to work. He does. So anyway, um, just wanted to go ahead and say that. Um, and for those that watch my channel that know me personally, you'll know who the person is. But for the rest of YouTube and the rest of the internet, you're not going to know who he is. You're not going to know who I am. You just know my channel and my vehicles. That's it. I mean, yeah, my tag is in it. His tag might be in it, but yeah. Anyway, other than that, uh, as time progresses, I will give more info on the car. I will show you things, tell you stuff like I always do, as long as he's got the time to do it. So, yeah. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.